Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 28 for June 13th, 2010. Dragon Face, Face of a Dragon. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. <laughs> the boy your man could smell like. Hello, ladies. Yeah. Now at me. Look at your man. Now back at me. Sadly, he isn't me. He could smell like he's me if he stopped using that lady said to body wash. Mr. Old Spice. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat. <laughs> What's in your hand? What I have is two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything's possible in a man's so for Old Spice and not lady. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I say it's time to get started. Let's hear the theme music and cue the theme music or open the Trash Jammer GP. There we go. And now we're going on. It's the new show full of one. The new sauce for the Webernets. New science for winners. It's NSFW. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood. Joined here inside the Twit Cottage, infiltrating the belly of the beast. Joined in person by OMG Chad and, of course, my inimitable co-host, Mr. J R Y Justin Robert Young, how are you doing, sir? Ah, uh, Bry, I'm doing great. I'm living the dream out here in sunny South Florida. Uh, and uh, and we also we have we have a, we have a million people on the show, and I'm a little bit concerned that there's so many people who all clearly have it out for me. That's the paranoia talking. We're joined first of all from East meets West, Mr. Roger Chang. Roger Chang, how are you, sir? Hello, I am fine. And, and first of all, we should announce right at the top of the show that he's only going to be here as long as we entertain him. And the moment he ceases to be entertained, he's going to GTFO or TPIA. Yes. And of course, we're joined by Amtrekker, Mr. Brett Rounceville, a.k.a. Amtreculus Prime. Amtrekker, hey, how are you, hey, sir? Hey. Who just sold his entire childhood today. You just sold you sold Optimus Prime for how many dollars and cents? Any, anyone want we should take bets on how much my childhood was worth. Oh my god. This is like everything you cared about for the I mean, over over under can't be over eleven, right? I'm like, gonna you say be able to get I'm gonna say say you made thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. Uh, wait, wait, is it the original toy? Wait, what? I think all of them were the original toys. These no, no, are the original Transformers you were selling. No, they had reissues of the toys, that's why. So I'm wondering if it was the original one from your childhood. Is it in the box? Do you still have all the parts? Um, because and Which the condition. Which are we the... talking about specifically? Are we talking about squeeze? We're we're talking about your your entire childhood. What did it fetch? The, the entire childhood fetched uh, two hundred and forty four dollars and twenty five cents. Hey, somebody's rich! Congratulations! Yep, that's what Brett's job. Eighteen years <laughs> equals. <laughs> $144. Oh my god. Was that was it just brutal to your psyche to just sell oh. off your childhood? I my soul is actually laying on the floor about two, 3 feet from me right now. <laughs> not so not soul. Who is in to sell everything, Brett? Whose idea? Yeah. Oh, uh, the people that were paying for storage for the last 3 years. Mm. They were done. Just to say not me. Isn't there just kind of a part of you that just wants to say to them, blow me? Oh, come on. See, look at that. That took about five seconds. I should have. And, and I didn't know what soundbite it was, but I, I called Justin. I was like, hey, Justin, I just did uh, Twit. Did you hear it? He's like, yeah, I did. I was like, why do you say it that way? He's like, well, there was just, you know, that thing that Leo said. I was like, well, what, what did he say? He's like, oh, you'll hear it. <laughs> Stop worrying about my acting, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a very impressive collection before our journey is complete. All right, first thing we got to do is we got some house cleaning. And first and foremost, the most important thing is I do believe we're about midway through our summer movie draft extravaganza. And I think it's time for, you know, someone to play a certain song for a certain guy in his standings in a certain contest that you're going to play. This is not going to end well, Brian. He has control of the sound. No, that's that's the song you play for you. You What, what song do you play for me? Because, you know, because. Okay. All right, Brian, I think, I think I got it. I got I got the song. Okay, go, go. And Look keep... at that fool with your pants on the ground. No, no, that's not the. I, <laughs> I want the winner. I am the winner. That song. 
Mm, okay, wait. I think I have the sound clip. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. For those of you following along at no, bit.ly. Here we go. There we go. Yes! I am the winner of this latest podcast game. Yes! Uh, yeah, no, everybody, listen, if you go ahead and check out uh, bit.ly uh, bit slash NSFW draft, you will see that, in fact, temporarily, I have graciously vacated my number one spot so Brian can keep the seat warm for a few weeks until... Uh, I, I come storming back into the lead when Predators, we break out <laughs> in the summer season, uh, just takes everybody by storm. Remember, folks, Predators fever. Catch it. <laughs> predators. Dude, after how well Splice did, Adrian Brody's going to ride that gravy train all the Red way through hot. Predators. Well, like, let me tell you. hot, Adrian Brody. When the kids out there, when they think of the action movies and the summer extravaganza, they think of one name, and that's Adrian Brody and Predators fever. Is that not correct, Reese Badger? Exactly. Yeah, no, they 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 think that and Topher Grace. <laughs> is Topher Grace in Predators is as like, well? Yeah, is Topher this Grace is like, really this in is Predators? Like Stallone and Schwarzenegger in, in their Holy prime. Goodness. Here's the here's the uh, the logic though. It's like think about how much money Predator made, and then imagine it being six times better because they've had six times to practice it going up till now, and the technology has has advanced. So surely Predators will be what takes you to the big leagues once again. Absolutely. And, and, and in absolute seriousness, let me let me catch everybody up on the back and forth of the league uh, as it happened this week. I um, had a frightening realization, woke up one morning in a cold sweat, realizing that I was completely doomed and uh, I was going to lose this. So I uh, became enamored with the Karate Kid, which, as it turned out, validated my my thoughts that it was going to be a breakout hit and offered Timmy Allen of Film Riot my entire slate. Three movies, Predators, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, and Expendables. And he said, uh, by the way, I have Karate Kid and Toy Story 3. <coughs> Boo. <laughs> See, Vito this is the kind of backroom can. deal that I was I was afraid of. I did not know you did this. Well, that's that's half the fun of a fantasy league is, is the trades. You know, I think that that's uh, obviously this is the first time we've ever played this league. There have been no trades yet. But uh, I was going to make the first, and Timmy Allen was like, no, I'm going to ride these kids' movies. I'm on the back. Keep in mind, keep in mind screens. that I'm gonna ride to glory. Keep in mind that just 48 hours ago, Timmy was in last place with zero dollars, and now we're on Sunday afternoon, an early version of NSFW. Timmy already has 56 million dollars. I'm in first place with 304 million. Justin has 299 million. Jason, who I think is actually gonna walk away with this thing, has 254 million, and Ryan has 210. But right now, Timmy looks poised to conquer the world with the Karate Kid and Toy Story 3. He's gonna he's gonna crush those it. Those is only two flicks too. No, nah, he's got Scott Pilgrim. He's got yeah, and Sp oh, Scott Pilgrim and the other guys, but nobody's gonna watch any of those. I think it's a really good chance. I don't know. I I think we're all gonna end within like ten million dollars of each other. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna blow everybody away. <laughs> Predators fever. July it's 9th, everybody, mark your calendars. July 9th, Predators fever. It's six That's sixteen it. in the afternoon. Cook of the racist badger. We're getting ready for Predators fever out there. Isn't that right, racist badger? Hey, RB. <laughs> All right. So uh, second bit of housekeeping. Actually, we'll save that one for the end. What 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 are we doing today? We'll save the other one for the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our, our fun, our fun thing. Okay. So Brian, uh, what are you gonna be doing this week? Uh, well, uh, you want to you want to participate in my new D and D uh, game? We're getting a D and D game together. This uh, Dungeons Monday and Dragons. Uh, listen, I I didn't I didn't make a big deal about it. I don't want to make you guys feel a little bit left behind. I've sort of been invited to fulfill a childhood dream and go to the Electronics Entertainment Expo, where I get to pretend to be some kind of reporter instead of nice. my traditional jackass role, and I get to cover. All of the hottest games that are going to come out over the next year. This is like a lifelong ambition of mine. When I was in college, I used to make up fake companies just so I could attend E3. And now look at me, sitting on top of the world, pretending to be uh, a respectable reporter, right there with my good buddy Leo Laporte of, of Tech TV fame. This is it. I, I imagine nothing could go wrong. I'm just going to go. It's going to rock. It's going to be amazing, right? Well, yeah, no, that sounds like quite an opportunity, and I'm sorry you're not going to be able to make it, and I'm definitely not bitter I wasn't invited. Blow me! Um, so Leo. what we want to do is make sure that you are prepared, my friend, that you don't go out there and just embarrass yourself. Well, 
But and this show pre prepared. Uh, I don't. I mean, I just, I just go and be my natural charming self. And, oh, and I'm, there's I'm, a lot riding on this, Brian. Wow. You better be more than your natural charming self. Well, no. I mean, I, I was told that I'm charming and people like me on on camera, and that all I got to do is just, you know, be friendly and talk to everyone, right? I mean, that's that's what that's how it works. Brian, Brian, Brian. <laughs> No, that's retarded. Uh, <laughs> you're not just going to go out there and try to talk to random people. you got to be on your game, man. you got to be on the razor's edge. Well, I Focus. feel, I suddenly feel terribly, woefully underprepared for this. I mean, this is, there's going to be thousands of people watching me live because we're going to be streaming all over the globe, right? People will watch our coverage all over the world. Uh, yeah, duh, well, moron. And, well, and, and, well, guys, you know, I, you got to help me get in shape. We got to, we got to make this happen. Absolutely. And that's what we're going to do right now with the aid of our friend Roger Chang and Brett the Amtrek Roundsville. Oh, dude, you're so right because Roger has covered E3 before. He's been through the trenches. He's experienced the, the and the tenches and he's experienced See, that tension. Kind of stuff. You say that, you say that live on E3 and Leo Laporte is liable to come over there and knock your mother effing <laughs> jaw loose. Oh my okay? god, I didn't even He'll think go about way that. Way beyond pulling the plug. He's no, going to rip your no. hair right from your skull. He will scalp you. He's gonna... screwing up E3 for him. <laughs> All right, guys, look, I, I need your help. I need, to, I need to train. I need to get in my fighting shape for E3 this year. I'm clearly underprepared. Now, here, here's what we're going to do, okay? Uh, I have a bunch of uh, sound clips from video games throughout the years, okay? And you're going to need, this is the kind of recall that you're going to need right at the top of your dome if you want to survive out there. No, you good. just follow our three-step training program for only $29.99 in three monthly installments, and we will have you ready in no time. Done and done and done. The check is in the mail. Make me a wizard worthy of the world stage. Let's do this. All right. So here we go. Uh, Roger, I'm going to have you uh, play along with this. I'm going to play a right. sound, and, and you guys are going to have to uh, identify what video game it comes from, okay? Ready. Here we go. This is the first sound. And we're waiting. Wait. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube Portal. will never threaten oh, wait. Yep, yep, to yep, stab yep. No, I definitely got that one. Definitely got that one. That is definitely, uh, uh, well, I guess I, should, I I heard the answer from Roger first, but that's definitely Portal. That's definitely Portal. Oh, or, should they not yell them out? Or not Protal, sure as they spell it in the chat room. <laughs> Protal. <laughs> well, uh, I, I will tell you what. That goes to Roger. Because he got it first. See, oh, Ryan I didn't know it was a race. I was quick. being polite. You got I was it. being polite. <laughs> and this is why Roger's a veteran, and you're but a babe in the woods, wandering around like a 16-year-old girl sailing through the Indian Ocean. All right, well, let me say this. First of all, and this is me trying to figure out a way to take this in a, a game-related direction, Valve recently put out a press release where they announced that they, they were proud to announce the cancellation of the Portal 2 party in place of a surprise and they said that while the announcement itself was a surprise it was not the surprise how am i doing boss blah 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 oh, come on who cares about stuff like that you're all going right. to e3 all right can no, you remember this game sound go yes. yeah all right. ready 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 all right here we go here we go we got another uh we got another one right here now remember brian but what you gotta do is just open open your head just don't think just react okay? right got it got it Got it. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. Here we you, go. Seth, is that Far Cry? No. No, it's not. Dude, uh, on, may, may I hear the sound I, I again, think, I think sir? The sound effect might have got cut off. Hold on. You've gotta be kidding me. Uh, that's right. some kind of glass breaking. I'm gonna. I'm going to say <laughs> uh, I, I, Resident Evil. What? What is that? What is it? I, oh, my God. I can't believe it, but somebody in the chat room got it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is yeah. it? Is this Resident uh, Evil? That, my friend, I want you to take yourself back to, to, to an olden day when maybe you might have a uh, plastic gun in your hand, and that sound heralded uh, uh, a duck 
falling from the sky. That's oh, a Chuck duck? Hunt. That's clearly glass shattering. No, that's the gunfire in Duck Hunt. An 8-bit glass duck. That's shattered. Look at like a fool with your pants on his ground. <laughs> I don't remember now, that Brian, moment. Brian, right now, you had a real easy one that you let Roger Chang just come in and swipe All out. All right, no, no, you're stuff. right, you're right. No, 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 I got it together, I got it together. I'm, I'm in the zone, boss. You embarrassed yourself. At this point, at this point, okay, we're going to fast forward this to tomorrow. Leo's got his head in his hands going, why? <laughs> <laughs> This guy's a loser. He does the worst show on my network. I what trusted you, Brushwood, move. and it's all gone to crap. All right, go. Let's do this. I could, I could go, 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 go. All right, here we go. We're gonna need you to, we're gonna need to bring it back here. Here's, here's your next, uh, your I'm next ready. clip. Oh, dude. Uh, no, I know this one. Uh, uh, God damn it! Oh, 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 God, I know it was God. God. Come on. You didn't tell me this was a competition. You just told me that I had to get in the zone, that I had to make this happen. Oh, you're getting on. flustered. You're getting flustered. Calm it down. All right, all right. Cool focused, right focused, 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 focused. Okay. Come on. All right, no, all right, listen. Just got Suck it, Chang. Report. You're going down. Roger, are you available for an assignment Monday through Friday? No, no way. I'm going to let Roger Chang steal this dream away from I me, know. dude. I will, yeah. I will shank him in the ribs before I let him steal this away. Let's do this. Go. It's very unneighborly. <laughs> All right, Brian. Now, come on. I'm going to move these up. These are getting harder, just so you know. So so you, the easy ones are out the window. If you thought this thing was getting easier, then you got another thing coming, buddy. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm ready. Now, this next one is a little bit obscure, but, I'm, uh, but you're going to need this kind of knowledge if you want to be successful. I'm worried. Welcome to your doom. Oh, dude, uh, that, that's uh, Altered Beast. Altered Beast. <laughs> oh, welcome to your doom. <laughs> Executioner, keep your fry button. All right, let's do this. Go. <laughs> All right, now calm down. No, that's yeah, it. By the way, that's that's belt. why I knew this one. That's why I knew this one is because we used to we used to make fun of that voice. We go, uh, "Welcome to your doom, executioner. Keep your fly buttoned. Stop throwing sand on my shoulders." It was it was random. That's I got lucky on this one. Is all I'm trying to say. Let's do this next. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's called filling dead Here air. Go. Here's the next one. Oh, uh, Solid Snake. Oh, uh, 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 Metal Gear Solid. Uh, no, I, I said the... <laughs> I got a wow, first. stammering has to go, Brushwood. There's no stammering in E3 co uh, coverage. <sighs> co but I coverage. said it right away. Ah, oh, come on. All right, all right. Snake, Snake. See, now, right. now, Brian, what if you were just... You, that was you on, on camera. Just saw, saw Solid Snake. Saw, 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 <laughs> saw, <laughs> saw, <laughs> <laughs> Would that play well? What no, that's that true. At, at, that's at, true. At the big Natal press conference. That's true. No, no, like, you got it. You no, no, guys, you use your hands and you throw them around, <laughs> and that's how you do it. You're doing the shooting like this, like. That's the, that's not gonna be good, bro. Come on. <laughs> you know you know what's funny is the unintended side effect of this episode is I'm actually gonna melt down on camera. Like I'm gonna have <laughs> visions of a, I'm gonna get on camera and be like, so 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 solid snake, solid snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm ready. We could only. All right, here we go. This is our final medium one. And by the way, I want to be a big credit to uh, OMG Chad who actually picked out all these. So if you think that they're too hard or ridiculous, blame your your young ward. Here we go. Tiger uppercut. Uh, that's Punch oh, Out. Street Fighter. Two. Oh, Tiger uppercut. Yeah, that is Street Fighter Two. I said Punch Out <laughs> first. Ah, I heard Hadouken wow. before the show even began. Okay, so I'm zero for five. Roger Chang. No, no, no. You Still them all away. You got one. You, got one. you totally got one. I, got one. I knew most of them after the fact. I knew Solid Snake. <laughs> now, now, Brett, and, now, Brett, Brett. Uh, we're trying to get this kid into shape, right? <laughs> right? He's just too panicked. Can right. you agree with right. me? This, he's just, he's all over the place mentally. He can't That's focus. True. We're the goddamn. No, we, you know what? He needs some sort of practice. He does. He does. All right. You know what? Um, Brian, we're, we're done with this. Clearly you failed oh, God. this course. Yeah, okay? but I, I'm a winner. I'm a winner in, in my heart. No, you're not. It's a life. No, you're not at all. A life. Not Even real. your heart has turned on you by now. Yeah. By the way, and and and, and I can imagine if if this were the end of day one, 
Okay, you're back at the hotel. With, 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 with this is a conversation from Leo to you. Blow me. <laughs> and then I reply, stop worrying about my acting, Leo. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go any farther, though, whoa. we've got we've got to thank we've got to thank our sponsors at yes. audible.com. Because if you go, if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW, you can sign up for a free book. And in fact, what are you reading right now? Let's take just a moment to talk about Audible. Justin, tell me about it. Oh, my. I had one of the best experiences you can ever get as an Audible subscriber where you forget you have the subscription for a couple months and all of a sudden you just walk in there with like eight credits and you're just like, yes, how am I going to enrich my life over and over and over again? So I, I picked up some Isaac Asimov, some Elmore Leonard. Some uh, uh, Ben Mezzer. I'm currently reading The Accidental Billionaires, which is fantastic. Uh, it is the best thing ever. Uh, but uh, Accidental Billionaires would be what I would recommend. If you haven't read Bringing Down the House, uh, please read that. Uh, or this uh, Accidental Billionaires, which is about the founding of Facebook and whether or not uh, Mark Zuckerberg is a total... Uh, doucher. Well, well, and by the way, you're only halfway through the book, and I remember you called me earlier today. You're like, hey, is it bad if I'm reading the book? And like, I hate all of Z Mark Zuckerberg's enemies. And I'm just like, yes. dude, wait till the end. Then tell me how you feel. So you, well, you, you still I'm, got time. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit further, and I think I've gotten to the point where, where there's been another split in, in let's say, the, the core Facebook group. Right. And I kind of still, I'm still on Zuck's side. Well, let's see uh, how you feel come the end of the entire book because it's hard for me to separate, uh, I guess, reality from reality, <laughs> fictionalized reality from reality, reality, because it really affected me. It messed me, it messed me up. But meanwhile, so, yeah. is this book actually a fiction? Well, it's it's fiction. It's fictionalized situations based on reality. He has all the notes, all the interviews. Everybody says this happened in order X, Y, and Z. But he sort of tells the story in a. It reads like a novel, in other words. Oh, but so but it's it contains a whole narrative. What like uh, what narrative? voice does it take? Is it like a third person Yeah, yeah kind third of person telling the story. Telling the story from different yeah, characters' perspectives. It, it's it's weird though, because like you almost wish that they just completely changed the names and just wrote it like like Primary Colors, which is by the way another great Audible book. Uh, you know, I, I agree. I think I wish they did. Then And they're like, by the way, it's really about Facebook. Anyway. Yeah, and you just have people that's like obviously like, oh, that fast talking Cajun Democratic uh, advisor. Oh, he's not James Carville. He's some other random he's guy. He's Joey Carmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like uh, I kind of wish they would went there because there's a lot of just kind of legalese uh, tightrope walking because you are talking about real people. So there's a lot of stuff like we can imagine Zuckerberg sitting over his computer and typing this out. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Which is somewhat annoying. But I mean, the research is obviously over the moon awesome and Mesrick is a great guy at taking uh you know contemporary big issues and breaking them down into their core sociological elements so your opinion. pick your pick is the accidental billionaires this week uh, my pick is actually not going to be the book i'm reading but the one that comes before it uh, i'm i've just started arthur c clark's 3001 the the final odyssey uh but i'm very very excited about, uh, I encourage everybody to listen to 2001, the, the novelization based on the movie. People don't remember the, the real story of which came first, the story or the, uh, or the movie 2001. 2001 was based on a short story that Arthur C. Clarke had uh, uh, written. I believe it was called The Sentinel. But the actual script was co-written with Arthur C. Clarke and Stanley Kubrick. So they wrote the story together. Arthur C. Clarke then went on to, wrote, to write a novelization that makes sense in all the ways that the movie did not. So if you watched 2001 and walked away from it saying, well, that was pretty, no idea what happened, you've got to read the not the, read the audiobook 2001. It's very well acted, is very well portrayed, enjoyed it immensely. That's my pick. Are you doing any audio entertainment right now, Brett? Yeah, actually, I'm listening to uh, Pygmy by Chuck uh, Palahniuk. Oh, Chuck Palahniuk, uh, uh, Pygmy is amazing. The yeah, bizarre. And what's really rad about it is I usually listen to books while I'm in the car driving, especially on like long road trips. And this book is so strangely told that you have to focus on every word he says and thus not fall asleep and die at the wheel. And what I love about it is that if you are reading the book, you're like, well, I'm just very confused. But hearing the audiobook reader read the book in its bizarre storytelling style mm -hmm. lets you know that this is intentional and it completely sucked me in. Like the first two yeah. lines, I was just like, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. 
Yeah, highly recommend. So that's our picks. We got Pygmy, yeah. we got Accidental Billionaires, and we've got the original 2001. Uh, head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. You get a free audiobook. If you sign up for the Platinum account, you can get two free audiobooks and two audiobooks a month after that or the Unobtainium plan. Which what? How many books do you get with that, Justin? Uh, 600 billion books wow. per month. That is uh, a lot is of books. That's actually what you get. Uh, I do also want to remind everybody that, listen, it's only a matter of time before we are being charged for eye bandwidth by <laughs> our all-seeing Big Brother government. So it's about time you just got all that reading done all up in your ear holes. <laughs> Remember, audible.com, your ears are closer to your brain. All right, now here's the important thing. Can we get back to the trials of Brian so that I could be ready for E3? Is it go time? Let's get back to exactly what we were talking about before we started talking about this ad. <laughs> uh, all right, actually, you want to know? I'm going to do one more. You can redeem yourself on right. one more. Do you want to get one chance of redemption? Ready, ready. All right, here we go. Now, this is something that you should know, okay? Ready. And waiting. I'm totally ready. Dude. Final Fantasy. Oh no, Zelda. Yeah, I thought it was Final Zelda. Final Fantasy. But I don't know if it's Final Ocarina of Time or the regular or the regular one. I want to say it's the the Ocarina of Time. I don't know if I'm wrong. Uh, Wind Waker. Uh, actually, Brian. Yes. You are right. But I and and so it is Ocarina of Time. Yes. However, I will give you full redemption. If you can tell me from whence in the game it comes. I, I want to say it's the game over, but I don't know if I'm right on that one. Come on, even when I get it right, you're going to make it so I got it wrong? Come on! <laughs> no, because that's the game over. It's oh, like that's... Sounds like you break 17 times an episode. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, go ahead. Come on, come on. Focus, Brian. Yes, no, I got it. Play I I can... I can Play make this again. work. Focus on this. Think. Close your eyes. I want to see you with your eyes closed. Visualize. Okay? Right. All right. I'm ready. What, why, why am I closing my eyes? Because what? you're, you're going to focus on this. Like, something fairies. And fountains or something. Is there a fairy fountain in Ocarina of Time? I didn't even play the game. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't yeah. this when he's talking to the giant tree or something? Ah, close, close. So Brian, no. nothing. You're just gonna give up on this? I didn't play. Uh, <clears throat> it's the it's the it's the fairy fountain tree. <laughs> oh my god! I'll tell you what. You wanna know what? What? You cheated from the chat room, but that's sometimes what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, close it up. I'll I'll take it, dude. All right, whatever. As long as I'm back in the game, let's go. Let's You're go. Back in. You're back in. And I, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. There was a lot of rewriting history to get you past that one. Okay? <laughs> I had to bribe a lot of judges to get hey, you. Hey, but in real time. life, real ro life, Ta Roger Ch Robert Chang will not be there to steal all my victories away from me. I had the, I had them. No, but I didn't so know it was a you're race. Up and you're who will be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. All right, now, let's go. Okay, yeah. You think you think it's gonna get easier when those G four guys are out there? You're gonna be staring eye to eye. With people who get paid to do this. You think Morgan Webb is going to spare you any kind of... No, uh, no, you're right. No, you're right. I got to crush her. I got to crush her soul to beneath my boot heel. You don't have to worry about someone in your own network stealing your thunder. You have to worry about someone in someone else's network stealing all of Twit's thunder. That's Twitch true. thunder is on your line. Oh, my God. We got Adam Sessler. I'm going to be like, hey, look, I'm you 10 years ago with more spiky hair. That's it. Go ahead. Talk some smack. Well, let's work. Let's work yeah, on this. All right, you're that's, gonna get your Irish up. I'm like, I'm like the worst. I'm like the worst smack talker. I'm like, hey, you up in the sky, you're a jerk <laughs> who's gonna die. Stop worrying about Bye, my acting, golly. Bitch. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. All right, all right. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna move on to our next, our next step. Now, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of games coming out, right? There's gonna be a lot of releases, a lot of news. Yes. A lot of stuff coming at you. Yes. Now, sometimes. You might not know exactly what uh, the deal with something is. You got to fill on camera. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, in, in which case, I'll be like, I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar with that product and/or service. Right. That's what I should say. <laughs> That's if, Justin. He is woefully underprepared. Oh, this so is, I, this is much worse than I thought. Oh, I didn't it even is. think about that. I guess I shouldn't. I should act like I know what the product is. There we go. Now we're starting to. You're starting to put it together. Okay. And no. It's, and it's, you know, I, I can't believe, number one, 
the, the fact that you are being sent on this trip is now depressing <laughs> and it's been a horrific failure for not only this coverage, but this network as a whole. But we're going we're gonna to do what we can. Okay, we're gonna ready. We're going to do what we can. Ready. Um, now, here we go. I'm going to give you uh, some, some game titles that I've made up, and you, like you're filling on camera, yes. need to tell me what this game's about and why it's going to be bad or good. Okay? Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can do this. And and this is the camera right here, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm 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 gonna I'll hold, be, I'll hold my I'm microphone. Leo. Let's say I'm Leo. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, so so Brian, uh, what also have you heard about the new game Blank? And then you have to go and just fill. Right. Like okay. Camera. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. So here we go. And now we're gonna go back to Brian with the latest on the new game Laser with a Z. Uh, hey guys, Brian Brushwood, Cracker Jack reporter here on the floor at E3 talking about laser that's with a Z. Everybody knows that Donkey Hammer was the top must-have game of 2009, but the question is, who's his successor for 2010? With social media exploding the way it is, I think we can rely on laser with a Z. Here was the biggest problem with that. Uh, Come on! I think your microphone is upside down. The microphones <laughs> my, are bigger my, on the top. Oh, is this how my oh, microphone oh. goes? Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it should have been? I'm sorry. Uh, all right, all right. You want to know what? Okay, let Let's just start from square one. Because <laughs> number one, here's here's where you failed so miserably on that last one. How did I How uh, did I fail? Enumerate well, what's the, the ways. About? What What's the game about? Tell me what lasers about. Well, that's you gotta, just. You gotta... Oh yeah, I need to make it up on the fly because they they'll bust me on that. They'll be like, "That's no, so not what the game's no, about." No, no, no. Oh, no, because here's this is live. Here's what no one busts you live. Really? No, 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 no God, no. no, Brian. Listen, you can go ahead and say, uh, "Laser, a game uh, in in a post-apocalyptic future where the only defense against zombies is lasers that shoot in Z form, <laughs> uh, is going to be the hit of the fall." And then if someone's like, "No, no, 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 no. it's a uh, it's a workout program for the Wii," you can go, "Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I was misinformed." That's it. <laughs> So that's okay. So that's that's whenever you get busted, you just drop the. Uh, I'm sorry, I was misinformed, or turn I turned to yeah. your mind. I was gonna or, turn and punch Leo and be like, "I thought you told me it was Z formation." Or maybe you can uh, use this clip. Yeah, actually, it may in fact be a moth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll make sure to do that. All Ready? All right, so let, let's just work. Let's forget about your on camera thing because you're polishing up with game school. You just tell me that the synopsis. Of this game. Got it, okay? got it. Yeah. So here we go. What kind of game and, and what basically it's about. All right. You don't, have, you don't have to be on camera. Just talk to me and Brett. Explain to us as friends uh, what Unanswered Call for Mercy is about. Unanswered Call for Mercy is the most exciting game in, uh, since date rape. It allows a person. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I'll tell you, I'm just going to go ahead. That faster than I ever would have thought. <laughs> Hey, you know, All right, uh, this is not, this is not working. probably take off right here. <laughs> <laughs> and Leo and, and, and Roger's out. Uh, That's okay. weird that he spoke up right after we started talking about date rape. I, yes. I would have thought uh, that I would have, I personally, I would have distanced myself from that conversation just a little bit further. Yes, I, I do have a reputation, however limited to maintain. So have fun with the rest of the show and have a good time at E3. All right. Love you, Roger. So Bye, long. Roger. Enjoy playing Bye, lasers Roger. with the Z. <laughs> what was the name of this one? Unanswered call for help. Unanswered call for mercy. For you know, mercy. Listen, Un unanswered call for mercy. At, at this right. point, <laughs> everyone's everyone's jettisoning the lifeboats. On this <laughs> one. But but you want to know what, Brian? Look look me in the eyes. Look in the camera. All right. We're 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 gonna bring you around. All right. Because you want to know what? what? Never quit. Never surrender. That's what they never said quit. On never surrender. West. Never give up. And that's what is. Wait, isn't that, that what happened? they said on? Isn't that what they said on Galaxy Quest? That was like their... Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> never quit, never surrender, never give up. All right. All right. Yeah. All, all right. right. So here we go. Uh, and let's, let's, let's focus. All right. Here's the next fake title. All right. <clears throat> Unanswered Call for Mercy 2. Say it louder. Okay. What is it about? Unanswered Call for Mercy 2, The Unleavening, is the story of somebody who 
is in the most agonizing position of his life. In this story, a person is trying to face a combat simulator to go into battle, but his two trusted colleagues and friends instead make it an hour and a half of mockery of him live on the internet for thousands of people to see. He keeps begging with them through subtle little jabs that indicates that he's uncomfortable with how the story's going, but they do not relent, and he has an unanswered call for mercy, too. Got it. Tiger. Now we've got it. <laughs> that you made it look easy. For a while there, I was worried that uh, to wash the stink of your E3 coverage off, Leo was going to have to change the name to This Week in Gadgetry or something and <laughs> wash himself of the entire mis miscommunication that was Brian Brushwood being allowed in E3. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Unleavened, the sequel to Cooking Mama, they're saying in the chat room. <laughs> Uh, all right, now, now, real quick, this one, you don't have to go with a full synopsis. Just tell me the main character's name of the following title. Ready. Okay? Ready. Dragon Face, the face of a dragon. <laughs> uh, dragon Face, the face of the dragon, the most exciting title, hitting Xbox 360 exclusively, also on PS3, uh, PC, and Nintendo DS Lite. Uh, everybody knows that his face McCracken is the hero of Dragon Face, the face of the dragon. Nice. Well done, Rushwood. I think you're finally getting the hang of this. All right, no, I got it. It's coming around, dude. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Here yeah. we go. Here face, we go. Face now McCracken. We're talking, man. See, I like this. No, I'm down with this. All right. No, it's all coming. Let me tell you guys, I really value your honesty and your integrity. I feel like this will be the best coverage of E3 ever, ever, thanks to you guys. Right. Now, here we go. Here for you. Uh, uh, Brett, Brett, yes. you're going to be a concerned parent, Okay. And you're going to ask Brian whether or not the new game, the Frog Olympics Hop to Glory, <laughs> is uh, going to be appropriate for your four-year-old. So go ahead and ask Brian. You're calling in live to the E3 coverage. This is Frog Olympics, a hop to glory? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so, Brian Brushwood, this is uh, Twit Live, correct? Yes, yes. I'm here representing Leo Laporte in the Twit Network. Oh, great, great. Uh, first time caller, long time listener. Uh, you're the spiky one? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I do have spiky hair and a lot of gumption, if you'll notice. Oh, yeah. Well, my main question is, I have this four-year-old, and uh, we, we bought him Frog Olympics, the uh, Total Recall version. Oh. And I was a little concerned with some of the uh, nudity involved in Frog Olympics, a hop to glory. It's just rumor and speculation at this point, but can you confirm any of this? Let me tell you, there's a reason <clears throat> the original title was Hop to the Glory Hole, and I do not recommend that you involve any four-year-olds in any of this. There's ovulation, there's dissemination, uh, there's, there's retraction. It's uh, really, really inappropriate, and I, I'm a little bit disturbed that you would bring it up on a, on a family network. Next call. Ovulation, really? Oh, it's <clears throat> terrible. That's all. I even got applause for Justin. This is good. This is good. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Not all the kids' games will be kids friendly. That's, that's a good that's lesson. Right. To Some kids' games are, are NSFW. They're highly Some, inappropriate. <laughs> good. I'm glad we got this down. Will be smoke screens for absolute ribald pornography. Oh, okay, guys, good. That, that's that that's good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I want you, Brian, to give your one-word review of the new game debuting this year at E3, Unanswered Call for Mercy 3. Seriously, I can't hear a word you're saying. Rape whistle. <laughs> I just made it words, I guess. Yeah. Yes. I guess that works. Yes. See? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. This coverage is going to be awesome, guys. Thanks to your training, I'm going to use all these tips, and Leo's going to think my coverage is great. He's going to yeah. be so excited. And the viewers are going to think it's great, and we're going to be famous. I mean, mainly me, but it'll be thanks to you guys. And you guys put all this together, even though you're not even going to be there at E3? Really oh. sweet of you guys. I mean it. I mean, that's very, very cool we're of you. We're here for you. We're Got here it. for you. Okay. Amen, brother. Good. All right, we have one more, one more fake title. Okay? Yes, yes. And that is, uh, and, and we're going to leave this one up to the chat room. Because ultimately, it's not us you got to please, Bri. That's it's true. It's going to be the people, you know? So I'm going to leave it up to them in the chat room uh, to see if you give a good enough description on whether or not We Race Riot will be a hit. We Race Riot. <clears throat> 
A lot of people have a lot of hype, a lot of things to say about We Race Riot. And uh, mainly, I think it's interesting that it uses an algorithm that takes your existing we and uh, plays with some of the facial characteristics a bit and it reinvents you as different races. And then it puts you in a real-time environment where you are in a crowd of people, all of them, ironically, slightly different versions of yourself. And you have to decide who to beat and who not to beat. Best part is it creates a report card of your racial biases and sends it to you over Twitter. I think we've got a winner with We Race Riot. Uh, uh, actually, Brian, um, we're just getting in that we race riot is a game in which you uh, have different kind of races like potato sack and <laughs> three legged. <laughs> I uh, uh, what's your line? I I was misinformed. <laughs> is that what I need to say? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Come on. See, this is exactly right. We got it. <laughs> I just belly clapped. <laughs> I'm just glad that they're me measuring my racism in Connolly's and not round Seville's <laughs> at this moment. Uh, uh, by the way, just for everybody keeping track at home, some of the other new hits that are coming out at E3 uh, in uh, this week, Elemental Blade, Fire, Water, Wind, and Fury, and Lost in Translation, The Game. <laughs> That's where you walk around with hurt feelings a whole lot in Japan. Is that correct? That's the game? Uh, yeah, yeah, where you play as Bill Murray and you have an hour of unrequited sexual tension. With That's right. Th there is one guest scene where somebody who assures you that he is not Spike Jones shows up and acts like a douchebag for five minutes straight and then vanishes from the game for the remainder, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, coming, coming this fall. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Brian, there's really only one more element of the E3 coverage that you're going to need to have on point okay. if you want this to be a success, uh, and that's the interview. You're going to be on the on the floor a lot. You're going to be talking to people. It's going to be live. Yeah. And sometimes they're not going to be super cooperative. Well, so well and Brett. I, I had an idea on that one. What I thought I'd do is phrase my questions as carefully and directly as I could, ask them clearly, and make sure they were questions that people at home would be really interested in the answers in. Yes. No, I mean, like, listen, that's all in best laid plans, right, Bri? What? Okay, like, yes, if, if, if the world were made of candy canes and lollipops, that would be a really great, uh, a great situation. But a lot of these times, you're not going to be talking to really loquacious people. You're going to be getting a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of static because these people aren't exactly natural speakers. That's, that's a good point. You know that's true, Justin. Country. Maybe, maybe we need some practice here, too. I think we do. Think? This is going to be your final test, Brian. Okay. Oh, my final one. Okay, good, good. All right. I'm ready. So here we go. Uh, Brett, uh, if, if you would please uh, Could I, could uh, I play the workshop. part of average fanboy? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Brett, you're going to be average fanboy. Okay. So at this point, uh, let me set the scene for you. Uh, Brian, you're walking around just doing talk coverage, right. running out some of the booths and everything. Brett, average fanboy, you recognize Brian's ridiculous hair. Right. And uh, you, you, you've tugged on his shirt sleeve, so to speak, and you're trying to get his attention. Brian, you're live on the air, <clears throat> and you have to make this compelling. Okay. And go. Wait, wait, uh, uh, one quick, uh, hey, we are live Brian, on the floor Brian, Brian Brushwood, here at E3, Brian, 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 and I'm Brian, continuing Brian, to speak. Brian. Even Brian, though somebody's Brian, trying to get Brian, my attention. Brian, Brian I'm you're, you're my favorite guy. Shut on the up! Web. I love, 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 love Sam Shue. <laughs> I love Sam Shue. Uh, listen, uh, we're, we're, here, we're here on the floor. We're about to see a live demonstration of Donkey Hammer 2, Brian. The Revenge of the Punchinator. Brian, uh, and I'm afraid Brian, Brian, that Brian, we're going to have to go Brian, live Brian, to somebody. Brian, could I please get your autograph? Now, I think I speak for not only myself and Brett, but everybody in the chat room that you were doing superlative right up until the words that just came out of your mouth. Which ones? The horrible ones that took all of your gains away and have leveled you back at zero. <laughs> what, what, okay? what were my words? What did I say? You know what? It's what you didn't say. Right? <laughs> what, 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 what did I not wants, say? All he wants is an autograph. You got to turn it in to, to good television. You're just going to brush him off? You, you this, know what else this you did? Kid, you alienated no, fans. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you guys, you got, you got it. Followers. You got it. You got it. I'll well, be happy to... Uh, one more time, real quick. Let's workshop that again. One more time. Brian, yes. remember, yes. everything, you can't, you can't just block, okay? Right. You got to judo this. You got to bring it into good coverage. It's right. an annoyance, 
but you're bringing it in. Okay, okay? got it, got it. All right. Try again. Okay. Yes, from and the top. Scene. And we're back with live coverage of Donkey Hammer Brian Two: Bushwood. Revenge Brian, of the Brian. Punchinator. I'm Brian Brushwood, Cracker Jack Twit reporter. Just get your autograph. And it appears right. as though I have a fan right. pestering me for an autograph. Hold on there. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Oh, is that is that a camera? Yeah. Hey. Is, you. you I'm. Oh, hi. Would you hi, like? Hi, would you like an hi, autograph? Hi, Brian. Hi. No, I'm right here next to you. Would, would you like an autograph? Uh, uh, maybe I should just wait until you're Okay, done. all right, well, let me get back to this. Anyway, Donkey Hammer 2, Revenge of the Punchinator, coming out to Xbox 360 DS lights and Abacus PCs this fall. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I got it back. Yes! 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 See, now that is what I'm talking about. All right. Well, good, dude. I'm feeling it. It's making it all happen. All right, now here we go, Brian. Uh, this is another thing you got to be on the lookout for, because a lot of the people who make video games, I don't know if you've known it, they're not, they're not exactly Jerry Lewis. Okay? Jer Jerry Lewis, they're, they're not exactly uh, obese and, and elderly? Sure. No, they're not. <laughs> they're young kids. Uh, they're also, they're not exactly Dean Martin. <laughs> Dean Martin. Oh, you mean dead and irrelevant? They're not that either. Um, they're not exactly uh, Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh, you mean rubber-faced and married to an anti-vax crazy person? Well, newly divorced, but let's not quibble. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're not exactly a real outgoing talking Ah, uh, yes. No, I'm sorry. Now I see where you're going for. Now I see where you're going go. for. All right. So let's say I am. I am a. I am the the uh, chief lead programmer. Um. Uh, uh, Kurt McLeod. Kurt, Kurt McLeod. Call for Mercy trilogy. Uh, okay. I, I'm sorry. The name of the title again? Unanswered Call for Mercy. One, two, and three. Right. One, two, and three. Right. Uh, so now you, uh, you snagged a big interview. Everybody wanted to talk to me. Okay? Yes. Kurt yes. McLeod, the Kurt McLeod of Unanswered Call for Mercy, the boy genius. G4 wanted it. 60 Minutes wanted it. Psh, but amateurs. Brian Bushwood got it. Want to know why? Why? Because he's a big fan of that other guy on NSFW, and you know him personally. Oh, Amtrekker. Amtreculus uh, Prime. Uh, That's the one. Not, That's no, the, the one other he was guy. talking Ro about. Robert other, Chang. Robert Chang. Well, I mean, probably Robert Le Chang. Leo Laporte. Yes. Leo uh, Laporte. Tom, Tom Merritt. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, Veronica yeah, Belmont. Let's, let's just, Mark Marin. Uh, uh, Greg Grunberg. I, I am. OMG Chad. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it must be it must be OMG spin. Chad. That says who it is. It's clearly OMG Chad. All right, no, I got you. Diggs OMG uh, Chad. It is. It Steve is Dildarian, Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey guys. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm I'm Kurt McLeod, uh, and and you are getting the big interview with me at E3 this week. All right, and scene. Hey, folks, it's Brian Brushwood here on the Twit Floor for E3 Coverage Live. We're joined by Kurt McLeod of the incredible Unanswered Call for Mercy Trilogy 1, 2, and don't forget number 3. Let's take it away with me and Kurt. Hey, Kurt, how are you doing? Good. Kurt, Kurt I understand that you put a lot of effort into all three episodes of Kurt McLeod's trilogy, Unanswered Call for Mercy. Yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, what would you like to say for all the fans of there, the previous Kurt McLeod trilogy of Unanswered Call for Mercy 1 and 2 and 3? I mean, I mean, the games are good. <clears throat> right. So how hard was it <laughs> to come up with the ideas behind the games? They weren't, they weren't that hard. <laughs> where, where do you draw your inspiration from, sir? Magazines. Uh, you know, I was talking to, to my co-host on NSFW, Mr. Justin Robert Young, and he said that he thinks Unanswered Call for Mercy is one of the greatest games ever. What do you say to that? I think he's gay. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of E3 Coverage Live on the Twit Network. I'm Brian Brushwood. We'll see you on the show floor. Sometimes, Brian, you just got to bail. And there yes. you go. That's mm. the lesson that you need to learn. Mm. Now I've got it yeah. down. Or I get it. The sub lesson that you also learn, wait until they make 
homophobic statements <laughs> and then get out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got it. That's 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 the trap I lay for them. Let the trap spring, shut it, and then we're out. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, all right. Uh, you know, I think there's only one other kind of interview that you would be doing uh, there, and, and and that would be the the booth babe. You know, there's a lot of the, the you know the the companies they buy uh, the models so they can walk around in the skimpy outfits. Are you, right. are you familiar? Well, and this no, this is good because in previous years they went a little booth babe crazy. It was crazy baby time in the booth babe land at the E3. But then they dialed it down, and now they dialed it back. So I anticipate a lot of vuvuzelas walking all around that place. Blow me. Um, <laughs> so now, uh, uh, Brett, do you, do you want to do the booth babe or, or should I? Uh, I can do booth babe. Let me let me get into character first though. Are you? Re oh my God! You really are doing that. You're tucking your shirt in a very Daisy Duke like fashion. <laughs> I don't right, believe no, I've no, ever no. seen. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right. No, I'm seeing it. Now, All right. Now, now, Brian. Okay. So, um, you're looking to fill time. You know, maybe things of uh, you're gonna between major major announcements and stories here. So you're on the floor, you're right. talking to people, and all of a sudden you are at uh, the booth for Dragon Face, the face of a dragon, right. and uh, the, the booth babe Miranda. Uh, uh, you you were talking to her and scene. Hey, we're here at uh, Dragon Face, Face of the Dragon. My name is Brian Brushwood here representing the Twit Network. We are joined live with Miranda, who's representing Dragon Face, Face of a Dragon. How are you doing, Miranda? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great, Brian. Let me tell you, how much do you enjoy Dragon Face, Face of a Dragon? <laughs> oh, it's, it's super cool. It's on the Xbox and the PS3 coming out this fall. Yeah, okay, now tell me, I was going to get the PC version, and I've got the Steam client installed, but what I want to know is I have an old AGP-style graphics card, and I don't have the PCI Express version. And in fact, when I did, I was going to run the two of them in SLI, but I wasn't sure whether or not that would be compatible with the API for Dragon Face Face of a Dragon. Steam what? Yes! You want to know what? When there's a pretty girl in E3, you embarrass her as quickly as possible <laughs> because it's no place for pretty girls. The nerds rule, ladies. Hit the brick. It's a rodeo <laughs> up this Awesome. Oh, my God. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I've got this game down. Very excited. Brian, a little bit. you want to know what? What? I got only one thing to say to you. What's that? Oh my God, you're giving me the belly clap. I can't believe, I've never seen such a thing. Oh, God. Let me tell you, I feel the amount of love that somebody with Stockholm Syndrome has. You guys sure <laughs> did beat me around and make me feel appreciated by the end of it. Thank you. You want to know what? What? You are not only ready for this, you're ready for the rest of life. This was like Marine Corps <laughs> basic training. We this is a foundation that will guide the rest of your days. This is our book. Everything I learned in life I, I needed to know I learned from NSFW, right? Is that what it is? I guarantee you, come Comic-Con, Leo picks up the phone. Brian Brushwood. Come Dragon Con, Brian Brushwood. Come <laughs> other cons awesome. with nerds, Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Uh, and by the way, I think Proto Link in the chat room has nailed exactly not only this episode, but all of our lives. This show has gradually gotten more and more ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. You go back and you watch NSFW episode one, you're like, uh, welcome to NSFW, where we talk serious tech. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined by just Robert Young and the Amtrekker, Amtreculus Prime. How are you doing, Amtrekker? Uh, was this the part where I pretend I'm in a skimpy shirt and talking a really high voice? <laughs> okay, that's where we are now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Well, now that we got you all set, Brian, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we did last week and how things turned out. Oh, my God. In the entire history of NSFW, I don't think I've ever been more proud of the show or of the chat room specifically than we were when we did the Melissa's Will Be Done and stuff. And first of all, anyone who's hearing this for the first time, don't listen to that episode first. Go to the one before it where we launched a campaign to, to cause trouble for Melissa and then listen to how awesome she was on the actual show. 
uh, we had three bullet points that we wanted to do that she thought would be cool if we could help make her day because she obviously dealt with a lot of, of horse apples from a bunch of uh, terrible people on the internet. We wanted to make her day a little bit brighter. So we asked what were some things that would make things happy for her and we asked if... Well, well we, we pitched. Yeah, you know. we pitched. We pitched. Uh, we pitched we, we, what? Had, we had the idea that like... We felt bad about, you know, looking at that YouTube page and having the worst of humanity just kind of tee off on her like a pinata. So we wanted to, you know, not say, hey, we'll take this back. Because as we know on the Internet, the, the Internet writes in pen, not pencil. You can't right. take anything back. No taking it so back. If there was some horrible slur written in permanent marker on her life, we wanted to take that and make it a beautiful mur mural where a unicorn was stomping. Right. We just wanted it. to draw hearts and stars and flowers around it so that at least it had at least it was very colorful, if nothing else. Yeah, so what we did was two things. Number one, we launched a Twitter campaign to both get her recognized by Lady Gaga and possibly get her on The Ellen Show. But the most immediate thing that we did, all of what you can read about at MakeMelissa'sDay.com, was if you see the beginning, the first frame of the infamous YouTube video, she's holding up an iPod Classic. Uh, right. playing Lady Gaga's Bad Romance. So what do we want to do, Brian? Well, we figured we could make things a little bit spiffier for her by getting her an iPod Touch. And so to MakeMelissa'sDay.com, we added a chip in for people to throw some money at. And, and, you know, we tweeted out, we're like, hey, if you had a chuckle at this video, why don't you make Melissa's Day and help us get her an iPod Touch? Within 12 hours, we had raised $400, and I'm proud to announce that we've already purchased and mailed out to her a 64 gigabyte iPod touch totally top of the Ooh. line completely hopefully making Melissa's day she asked I sent her a Facebook message asking if there was a specific address she wanted it sent to she was very moved she asked if there was anything she could do to thank the people who chipped in and yeah I, I can't think of anything I mean she's already done it she's amazing she's a funny kid uh really really thrilled that, yeah, that it worked that out episode. so well the episode uh, that, that she did last week was absolutely awesome. People are saying, uh, rightfully so, the iPod Touch idea was from the chat room. Uh, and, and so much of anything that we do on NSFW is, it's almost shorthand. Right, that but the chat room I would like to point out. thought of it or, or made it happen. I would like to point out that that's only one of three ideas we had to help make her day. So we still have two more. One of them, we can't really do anything for another eight weeks because the Ellen Show is on hiatus at um, the moment. I don't think so. Oh, I think really? Actually, I heard that she's back uh, next week. So oh, no we kidding. Actually, well, then maybe yeah, we can yeah. make something happen there faster. But meanwhile, one thing we can all do at this very moment is once again tweet out to to uh, Lady Gaga. That's at Lady Gaga. Say, hey, uh, at Lady Gaga, this video got over a million views. Why don't you make Melissa's Day and comment on it? And uh, you can put www.makemelissasday.com. Anything else we want to say about this? Uh, well, you want to know what, guys? Uh, I would say if you guys want to take some time out right now, so we can all go, uh, all go at once. That would probably be uh, the best thing. If you were listening to this on uh, iTunes or or any of the downloadable services, then as soon as you hear this part of the podcast, why don't you go ahead and click pause and uh, and type out that uh, you know you want uh, Lady Gaga to see this video, and and we're gonna direct everybody to make Melissa's day. Dot com where the whole story is explained. It's got and, a copy uh, of the, the video over up. there, and it gives us a chance to point everything to, where it also tells the story where we unleashed the Kraken, but then we realized the Kraken never really wanted to be unleashed to begin with, and we're trying very hard to stuff the Kraken back in its little cage. And I guess you're you're texting that out right now. Is that what's going on? Yes, yes. If, uh, if, if, the if you moment could, if you Justin R. Young sends that out, we will all retweet it. We'll make that happen. Uh, but I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. Don't forget that we are covering live for the for two days, Monday and Tuesday, from the E3 floor. I've already got arrangements. Hopefully, we'll be playing some form of rock band with me and Leo Laporte. Uh, there's some leaked stories of rock band actually having guitars with strings and actually a keyboard. I think there's going to be a lot of good stuff. And, oh, look, some people are already, Lady Gaga, this video got a million views. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> and uh, I'll go ahead and retweet that right now. Yeah, there we go. I sent mine out here. Awesome. Uh, you got anything you want? Oh, uh, let me say one thing. Uh, here's the deal. During the live press releases, during the live press events, for example, during Microsoft, we're going to be using, Twit is going to be using the feed that they have generated for everyone. So I will not be on camera. But what I will be doing is I'm going to beg everyone's permission who's not into video games. I'm going to tweet like a madman giving insider perspective from people who are there at the actual event. So uh, tell your friends to follow at Schwood. 
just during that one hour and then make sure to unfollow me because I'm not very interesting outside of that. Justin? Uh, yeah, everybody, please, please, please support Brian at E3. Uh, I know this is, you know, it's a new kind of strategy for, for Twit to do this kind of live coverage stuff. And if you like, you know, the, uh, the NSFW flavor infecting Twit uh, all that much more, please uh, support Brian. And also, if you like me and you like Brian and you like Amtrekker and you like uh, uh, Andrew Maine, who's been on this show before, please do me a favor and go, on, go over to weirdthings.com and watch uh, the adventure we had last week. It's all edited up and super fun. Uh, and I, I'm very, very proud of it, Brian. I mean, if you want to uh, talk about it for, for a second. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, and, and I don't know. Have you posted the final edited version of that yet? Are we able to plug that over at uh, weirdthings.com? Oh, yeah. No, it is up. It okay, is good. Up right good, now. good, good, good. Uh, yeah, uh, all of us, pretty much everyone here in the room right now, plus Andrew Maine, and you get to see just Robert Young soaking wet in his Sunday best if you watch our Hunt for the Night Creeper, and we're hoping to do other live events like that. We'd love to get your feedback on that. But I uh, yeah. am Treculous Prime. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I, can, I can just say that if you enjoyed that, then there probably will be more in the future. Uh, are you still, uh, uh, what's the latest at Greatest Employee of the World? Oh, resume padding has hit iTunes. So the new uh, web show that I've been doing, resume padding, is searchable on iTunes now. And the first episode is up. The second episode got a little bit delayed because I had to sell my childhood. But it's coming, and it's even bigger and better than the first. So go check them out. Awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of NSFW, new show full of win. Hopefully see you guys next week. Until then, see you next Tuesday. Bye. And die in a fire. Oh, technically the Tuesday after that. Te oh, yeah. No, see you the, the not the upcoming Tuesday. Tuesday yeah, after. See you, see you not Tuesday. Right. Not this Tuesday, but the up the next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Not this one. Next Tuesday. Yeah. You hey, do you, have, do you have any remaining sound effects that you want to run through? Can you run through the remaining sound effects? Um, yes. I can, Brian. I like T.S.S. Solik says. I will do it. <laughs> T.S.S. Solik says, let's GT Cuba O. My booth babe impression just got called kinky. kinky. Uh, if I'm not mistaken... I sounded a bit like Sonic the Hedgehog, like where I pic I pictured uh, like at the beginning I, I felt the Sega. Mm -hmm. No, close. No. It is Sonic, but double points if you can tell uh, at what point. Maybe it's a certain state that Sonic's in. Oh, when when, uh, when he's what? When he's invincible? Hey, you got one more? We do. Here we go. All right, we got another one? I'm feeling yeah, good about these. It was the pressure. It was the pressure of having Roger all, you know. It's fun Laban. It's fun Laban. Oh, dude, that's fun easy. Laban. That's easy. That's uh, that's Wolfenstein 3D. Right? The original <laughs> Wolfenstein 3D when you shot a zombie. Yeah. No, no, no. What else you got? Oh, come on. Really? Come on, dude. Go through them all. This is what I live for. If this was, if it were up to me, this is all NSFW would be, is you guys quizzing me on video game sound effects. <laughs> Here we go. Hit it again. I want to say that's a, um, a Mario sound effect, but I don't know which one. I mean, it sounds like... I'm gonna say Mario. It's uh, no, you, uh, you you jump and you hit the flag and then it goes do 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 do. Is that the one? Is that the one? Okay, good. Flag. Good, good, good. The flag ball. Wow. wow. Why are you so much better at this when we're not recording? Well, well, we, well it's it's when it's. Uh, first of all, I hope we are recording. You could throw this in. You're not recording. Okay, we are recording. Hopefully, hopefully Tony will throw this in. Me no, getting all God these sakes, right. Tony, don't don't give him any credit. Yo, come on. Oh, hey, on. hold on. I got I got a present. Hold on. You ready for this? Sure. Got, a, got a special friend who made it out. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello, Jester Robert Young! <laughs> and look, he's been modified 
So he has a special a special move. Normally, you just you just talk like this, right? But yeah. look look at what this one could do. Oh god, no. Why would he need to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it keeps going. Oh, it doesn't know when the joke's over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brian, here's the next one. All right. I am but a phantom. What? Play that again. I am but a phantom. This one has to be a pretty recent one. Um... I, I, I want to say, I mean, my gut says like, like, um, uh, Were there any sound effects in 11th hour? It's, I no, I don't think there were. Well, um, one more time. I am but a phantom. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with the, the, uh, I, I don't normally look at the chat room, but here they're all saying Starcraft two, which I guess. Is it, no, it can't be StarCraft 2 because StarCraft 2 is not out yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wait, was it Star Fox? StarCraft 2. It is StarCraft 2? StarCraft 2 Stalker. Was what oh, the Stalker game. Wow. Wow. Uh, That's a random I think, one. I think we have one more. Here for you. You know, I I played so much Warcraft two that when Starcraft one came out, I was just burnt out on real time strategy altogether. All right, here we go. Forgive him. <laughs> that sounds like a Christian version of Mortal Kombat, where it's like at the end, instead of fatality, it says <laughs> forgive him. All right, one more time. Um. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, was it maybe, the, there was a game that was like that, where somebody ran around with a sword, saving lost uh, lost Christians. Um, I can almost remember the name of it. Um, I think you're thinking of Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it was, um, oh, doggone it, what was the name of that one? It was like, Catch a Tuman, Catch it, Catch, Catch, Catch a Tuman. <laughs> which which one is that one? He overthought that one. It's uh it's MK, Mortal Kombat. Oh really? Yeah. Oh so yeah, I actually had they it. To, they they added like the the, the friendship uh, fatality. Oh, they and, did because the chat room was shouting hospitality, and I was like, that would be funny. Like <laughs> forgiven hospitality. Yeah. Oh my god! Literally, like when when I was growing up, uh, the discussion of secret fatalities or secret things that some kid saw at an arcade once was like 25% of all communication. Like it was just, it was like, dude, I totally saw one Sonya Blade where like you did, you hit up, up, down, down, left, left, right, BA, BA. She takes off her shirt and she totally does a dance. She's uh, yeah, dude. Uh, <coughs> We love all of you. We'll see you from E3. I'll be hanging out with Leo. It's going to be a blast, dude. Take care, guys.